that's going to be our uh, thumbnail. But first, let's hit the intro. Today I'm in the sunroom because I'm tired of being in my office after being there eight hours a day uh, for my day job. That's where my gaming PC lives and my Xbox and if I want to make music of course, that's where all of my instruments are so I sometimes just really don't want to be in my office. I'm in the sunroom. And I'm here really specifically because I wanted to talk about those times when you want to make music on the go when you're not in your office. And that's where we will be talking about these guys. Ha! I did it. Portable MIDI keyboards. Which ones I like, why I like them, and what I'm going to do with them in the future. Go back to that. That's, that's going to be our... That's gonna be our uh, thumbnail. Now the first mini keyboard controller that I actually picked up was the Novation Launch Key Mini. Uh, I think it was the Mark II, actually. Uh, I picked that one up, it was, it was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it, it made sense, it worked with Ableton, which is what I was trying to get used to. Um, later on, I moved on to the Mini Mark, the Launch Key Mini Mark. Three. And while it was the same form factor and had a lot of the cool features, it had supposedly had all of these great new bells and whistles like the arpeggiator and the fixed chord and, and all of these different features that I never mastered. Just gonna call it out right there. Um, I'm sure they're really cool features, but I never really got into them. And more times than not, I would be frustrated just trying to use it because it wasn't like what I was used to. I was kind of you know, focus more on trying to just make music and I never really could get into a good workflow with it. Another keyboard that I really, really enjoyed is actually this Complete Control uh, M32. I like it. I really like it. I took this with me on a business trip once and I like having the 32 keys. There's something about it, it just kind of, the size is sometimes a little bit of prohibitive because you can get it into some backpacks but you can't get it into my backpacks. And that can be an issue. Today we're gonna focus on, because I'm, I'm changing things here, we're gonna focus on this Arturia Mini Lab. Ooh, it's shiny. And I like it because of the black on black keys. And it just aesthetically is, is really nice. Um, one thing I noticed right out of the box is it is a bit heftier than, say, something like the launch key mini I mean this is definitely it's definitely a bit larger a bit like this it's definitely larger uh, length and width it is definitely a big boy compared to the mini um, definitely heavier the bottom of it feels like this metal piece. This is like a little bit of metal on the bottom where this is all plastic. Uh, things I like without even plugging it in yet. I like that we have the the endless encoders on there. Love that. Um, very, very, very much like the endless encoders we have on the Complete Control 32. Um, I like that there are 16 of them. Because I think that gives me a lot more options than a DAW, so we'll figure out what that's about. Um, typically, you see about eight uh, encoders like that just going along, which kind of gets you the basis. But having 16, I'm excited to see what that'll do for me. And it still has the eight pads, which I'm going to go with. You probably can do some drumming with them. Um, we'll find out. It has the, the pitch bin and the, the modulation sliders, which I think is cool. Um, yeah, it... Build wise, just right out of the box, I'm, I'm giving this an A plus. I like it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get into some of the software setup and and see what this is all about. Now, what's interesting here is I decided to go ahead and uh, start setting up the the Mini Lab MK2 
and as I'm trying to do the registration, they give you a little, little quick start guide um, in a little baggie. I'm not going to show you my number that gives you your serial number and unlock code. And then you're supposed to use this to register. For some reason, mine keeps giving me an error. Yeah. So I've already opened up a support ticket <laughs> with Arteria support. This is my first time dealing with them. So I've opened up a support ticket and hopefully they'll uh, get back to me and we can get this registered. Um, I believe that is required because you have to register it in order to download the installer. I don't need the installer for Ableton Live Lite, but I do think you need it for the analog lab light. So something that I need for this keyboard to get all of its features, I need to register in order to download, which is probably critical because if you think about the Novation, you don't necessarily have to register it in order to download the software that goes with it. And some of it is actually stored in the firmware on the device. So I'm kind of curious about that. But we'll find out. Now one thing that I will point out while we're waiting to figure out this whole are you registered thing. Uh, things you get in the box are going to be your controller. You're also going to get your registration packet which you know tells you how to register your product if that works out. And this really cool white uh, uh, USB connector. Now this is very standard. I very like it. I really like that it's kind of off from the black because normally you would get one like this for your your setup. Uh, this one comes with the with the M32 over here. Um, I would be using none of those for this particular setup because I am living that dongle life like many of us MacBook Pro folk. Um, so what I have is a USB-C here USB-C to this weird connector here and basically uh, wait, get focus that USB-C there you go USB-C to I think USB-B is what that's called that's that standard connector you get on the back of all of, uh, of these devices so I will be using that to connect this directly to uh, the Thunderbolt ports on my Mac because if you got it, you got it, right? So even before I switched to the Mac, I've been USB-C for a while with the Dell XPS uh, line of products, so um, everything's going USB-C. For me, having the Thunderbolt is nice. Okay. Ooh. Hopefully we cut that like the little flashy that happens when you first plug it in. Very cool. Now, even without the additional software set up, I should still be able to use this as a basic mini controller in Ableton. So let's find out. Sure enough, it is found it in all of the proper places. So this is very much very standard. Don't really get a lot of functionality without having the additional software. So it looks like we're at a pause or standstill until I get back with the support. So it's not a good look just opening the box and trying to play. I mean, I like the hardware, it looks nice, but without the software, it's kind of meh. All right, so we're back. Uh, the saga continues. I just got an email back from support uh, from Diego. Uh, thank you for using our instruments uh, in order to help us fix your registration issue. Can you please send us a photo of the bottom of the unit itself where the serial number and barcode are located? Please note that a picture of the box and our registration sheet will not suffice. So, there we are. Um, they did respond within, the, within 24 hours according to the email chain. My original email went out to them 16 hours ago and I just got a response. So I'm going to open this up again, snap a picture of the base, and send them an email, and we'll see what's happening next. And in case you were wondering, yes, I did put the thing back in the box. Okay, so it's, uh, well, it's a quarter to six in the, in the evening, so basically this is now getting close to that, that 21, 20, 
20, 21 hours since I've opened the support ticket. I'm kind of torn at this point because at this point I've gotten this device and not been able to use it. And it really is a bad taste to open something, have it not work, and then immediately need to be in a support situation. One thing that I think is interesting, and I'm going to show you this on their website, that they actually have a dedicated support line for registration and failures. I mean, that's, it's not even an FAQ. It, there is just a, you know, one of the main options when you go to their site is dealing with registration. That might be a hint. They have a registration support section of their site because people had trouble registering so this may be just something that ha re happens regularly and basically if you hit the registration activation you get put into your e their, their email queue yeah you have to pick your, your item and then you go through they ask they ask for the serial number and the unlock code which is exactly what I'm having trouble with the serial number and unlock code I have those I put those in and it's just not allowing it to be registered so they ask for that up front and then in my message, I basically called out that, hey, it's not working, it's not allowing me to register. They wanted me to send back a picture of it. And I guess maybe that's to validate that maybe I'm not fat, fat, fat fingering. Um, but yeah, I'm still kind of at this point where it's been long enough for me not to be interested in this anymore because it seems like it's just not going to work. And so, yeah, I'm really at that point. Okay, so just an update here. I kind of hit that point where I'm tired of even trying to work with this thing, and I actually just did a, a, a Google search and found out that this whole registration thing happens to other people. So, yeah, we're going back to best. We're going back to Guitar Center. All right, so I'm back from the Guitar Center. I took the bag. I had to, had to change it in. I actually sent an email response to my support ticket telling them to close it. I returned it to sender. Um, Things you notice, little things you notice when you're actually looking for it. I go back into the Guitar Center and there are like four open box Arteria keyboards. <sighs> yeah, That's the end of this one. Not how I envisioned this ending at all. I thought I was going to make a song with this new Arteria key lap, but I mean it was really nice hardware. It was really nice solid hardware. And all of these other YouTubers that have posted videos on them seem to love theirs yeah we'll go ahead and wrap this one up uh thanks for checking out the video like subscribe comment if you have one of these or know someone who actually has one and it worked for them you know let me know um is this something that's common is it just unique am i really lucky should i buy a larger ticket anyway have a good one thanks for watching see you in the next one